All right, thanks, Lee. Breaking news this Wednesday morning, two deadly shootings in different parts of the Bay Area. Now, one involved deputies killing a man, and in the second one, a woman was killed in a triple shooting. Eight on your side has crews covering both situations with Marco Villarreal in Spring Hill. Megan Gannon is in Tampa, but we begin this morning with Marco. Good morning. Good morning, David and Avery. Out here, this has kind of been the situation all morning long. The mobile command unit that was out here actually just got taken away a few minutes ago, which is a sign that the, this scene might start opening up here in the next little bit. But all night long, there's been just investigators, deputies, SWAT team members, technician analysts that have been out here piecing everything together with what happened this morning. That, that's what they're working to do. And this all started yesterday around noon deputies were called out because a couple of people were in some sort of a dispute the deputies were able to break that up but then one of the men ran into uh, the home and barricaded himself that kicked off a day-long event that had deputies evacuating homes in the immediate area just before one o'clock this morning we're told the man in the home would not comply with deputies and somehow that led to him getting shot i'm told law enforcement did not enter the home he was declared dead right here on the scene. The Hernando County Sheriff's Office says they tried everything they could to keep from getting to a resolution where anyone got hurt. We spent over 12 hours uh, negotiating with the individual. Our crisis response team was here um, along with our deputies. And then ultimately our SWAT team was also brought in um, to help just secure the area. FDLE is now investigating this shooting and have taken over this scene. We are expected to know more about the man shot later this morning, including his identity. As for now, this whole area is shut down. We're told it could be a little bit longer before they open up some of these roads. So heads up for those that live out here in Spring Hill. Live in Hernando County, Marco Villarreal, 8 on your side.